Hey everybody, I'm Fury, and today we're going to look at a little game called Knights in a Dream Score Attack for the Game Boy Advance. And you may remember the Knights game for the Sega Saturn as well as the sequel for the Wii. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty much... it. <laughs> this little game for the GBA is basically... I, I feel like it's more like a demo than an actual game. You're basically just going through these rings and you're getting these orbs, and when you get enough of them, you go to the little goal and... It'll add 10 seconds to your time, and you basically just have to keep doing this until the time runs out. And that's pretty much the whole game. I'm not even kidding. See, I just got, now I got a couple seconds added to my time. Very simple shit here. A little laggy, but I blame Camtasia. It's actually not this bad when you're actually playing it, but... Uh, Knights can do a few things. When he actually makes a circle with that little... Uh, I want to say a little glitter behind him, he can actually make a vortex that basically uh, automatically collects anything within it. In, uh, in the Wii game, it was actually like a black hole almost. It's kind of weird, actually, but... So, we're just basically collecting, and... I used to actually own the original Knights Into Dreams on the Sega Saturn. Great game! In fact, the Saturn was a really underrated system. Had a lot of good games on it that... I don't know, some people might agree were good, some might not. Some of my favorites on there were, uh... Well, of course, Knights. There's also the Clockwork Knight games. Now, those were good games. I wish they would bring those back. I mean, come on. E I'm surprised they didn't even bring him back in, like, the, uh... In, like, the spin-off Sega games. Like, how they had that stupid tennis game or that racing game or whatever. What, was Clockwork Knight not popular enough? I thought it was a good game, anyway. Um... I like the Bug games. Bug 1 and Bug 2. I don't know if there was Bug 3, but... I owned both 1 and 2, and I had fun with those. I like the music to this game, actually, even though this is the only song in the game. This really isn't the kind of game that you would be really immersed in. It's not something you would play for a real long time. I would call this a bathroom game. Just something to play while you're doing something quick. Or if you want to think less disgusting, uh, like a waiting game. Something you would play while you're waiting for something. Honestly, I... I really can't say much more about this. But, uh... You know, I kind of want to get a Saturn again. I had a... I actually had two Saturns. I got one originally back in the mid-90s when it first came out. I had a lot of games for it, too. I had, uh... I had Ultimate World Combat 3. I had this... Well, not this, this, but... I had Knights... I had the Bug games, I had the Clockwork Knight games. I had a, a demo CD that came with, um... I don't think it was... I don't think it was Daytona. I had Daytona USA, I know that. But I don't think Daytona was on the demo. I, I think it was, um... What the hell was that other Sega racing game? I forget. I'll, pro I'll probably look it up or something. But, uh... There was another Sega Genesis... Not Sega Genesis. There was another Sega Saturn racing game that uh, it came on this demo. It also had uh, an MLB game on there, too. But, yeah, time ran out, and the night is over. And when the night is over, you get a grade, and I got a rank E, which means I suck. But that's pretty much it to this game. Uh, nothing else to really show. Knights in the Dream score attack is nothing amazing, but, you know, interesting enough to warrant a look at, and honestly, whatever. Until next time, take care.